in the larger sense, there's nothing else that exists but divine will. Now, man's tendency is this, to narrow down the vastness of divine will to their own will, which consists of nothing else but the egos. So the ego says, I do this, and I do that, and yet the ego does nothing at all. Hmm? For how could the ego function at all? Hmm? without that energizing force that is there of divine will. Now, divine will is a misnomer, it's a fallacy. The divinity has no will at all. Hmm? Divinity is an energy. But where the will comes in, is in manifestation. For that energy, as every kind of energy, has to express itself in some way or the other. Hmm? And that energy expresses itself in manifestation. This manifestation in turn is what has created you. And your very existence, your very creation is nothing else but manifestation. Now what is manifestation? Hmm? Manifestation is the relativity of life. Now, this manifestation is called divine will. Hmm? When we say, thy will be done, what does it really mean? Hmm? That may the totality of manifestation cooperate with me. Let me not by my little self fragment it or cut it into pieces. So, here's a process of elimination all the time. Hmm? Where you go from your personal egofied will hmm? to di divine will and then you merge away into that infinite energy. Because divine will is not infinite. It has its limitations. It is limited to the structure of this universe, while the energy that we talk about, hmm, or the impersonal God, if you, wish, if you wish to call it that, is beyond this universe and yet it penetrates every atom of the universe. Hmm? Divine will consists of motion. Right. But now, underlying this motion, there is the stillness where man has to reach, and will reach, in time to come. Hmm? And reaching that stillness, you will become part of the motion that controls this entire universe, and still be apart from it. Hmm? You become the observer of the motion. <laughs>